All right. Bitch, we're live. Bitch, we're live. I said good morning. Bitch, we're live. Bitch, we're live. I'm going to get the playlist link. Oh, because that's important. You people need music and shit. Hi. <laughs> um, last Monday, last Monday, you guys, this, this wall was just a blank canvas. It was just a blank canvas. Look at it now. It's so sexual, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks, Ashley and Holly and hi, Sophie and Stephanie. Wow. I had to do like a vocal warm up to get all that information out. <laughs> oh my God. So exciting. How are you all today? You okay? You good? You happy? You, I mean, you don't have to be happy to be here. You can be miserable and be here too. <laughs> So, story of this wall color, um, I definitely got targeted by some ads. Like, I got super targeted, and I saw this company called Backdrop, and I mean, it's just curated colors, like, to me. So, I, me and Kumar saw this color, and it's called Negroni, and we were like, we have to do it. I think I want to paint my bedroom with this too. Like, I just want to make it a love nest, you know? Like, that would be, that'd be good. I'd need to get new sheets though. We got to have the whole thing has to be this encapsulating experience, you know? Mm, Shayla, what is going on? Has anybody else felt like totally out of their mind the past week. Like I have not been myself until today. Like, like I squeezed through some, like the eye of the needle or something. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what was going on, but I was doing things like starting to make smoothies, like putting all the ingredients in and then like leaving it half done on the counter and just geeked out on every, I don't know what was wrong with me. I mean, I guess it collectively, we were squeezing through. So I think yesterday was the worm moon. Was it in Libra? I don't know. I'm off my game, you guys. I'm, I'm a little off my astro, astro game, but I know all of, all of you witches in here got information for me. <laughs> yes, Ashley, we're going to do some hip love in here. Okay, good. Okay, Nicolette, thank you. Yeah, and so I don't know if it's because I'm a double Aries, um, double Aries Pisces moon. Not like this matters, but it matters. It matters in some, some ways. So my mom, who's actually in the chat, this incredible woman, the second I was born, she had my full chart done. So um, we got the information. <laughs> yeah, Libra worm moon. So full moons are the opposite of the sun sign. Yes. Yes, mom. So yeah, it's just like, so I don't know if it's like, it's we're, we're in my season now. So we're in Aries season. My birthday is on Saturday. So all of that coupled with that Libra moon, just like, whoa. I don't know. I feel a little better today though. I feel focused. I actually made my smoothie and blended it and then ate it. <laughs> so we're improving. Yeah, so here's so you know, here's my plan today. <laughs> We're going to love up on ourselves first and foremost because you deserve it. Um we're going to do like the most brief review of all the things that we went over this past month. So we really went over joint functions in the shoulders and the hips, your ankles, wrists, the whole nine. So we're just going to like review those things like really briefly in the beginning. 
And then we're going to go forwards into what my, my April, what I wanted to do, which was hips, because hips can be fraught with uh, all sorts of little, like I posted in my Patreon today that it's like an Indiana Jones booby-trapped labyrinth where like you feel like you're getting somewhere and then you're like, oh, oh, oh. and having open hips or at least moving your hip mobility forwards can improve your health on so many levels, especially as ambulators, because we're walking on two feet. It's right there near our core. If you know, it, it's responsible for so many things. So I know my, my girl Shayla had some back issues going on. She was hitting those box jumps. And so probably her low back, her hips were feeling it. So this can be a really wonderful kind of exploration to help you with your mobility moving forwards and your comfort and safety when doing other types of movement modalities. So if you're training in martial arts, if you're just doing your calisthenics, weight training, heavy weight lifting, all of these things uh, help that and fortify that. Yeah. Oh. Not this, not today, Jessica, but next Monday, I'm guessing. So happy early birthday. Yes. <laughs> I follow you all on Instagram, so I know as, as much as possible about you. <laughs> so Shayla, I'm just, I'm stalking. I'm invested in your, in your hip wellness. <laughs> all right, should we get going? Should we do the thing? I guess we should. <laughs> All right. I'm starting at the top of this playlist. It's like an hour long, but who knows what will happen. I try to keep it max hour underneath if possible because I know you all have things to do and lives and animals and or partners or maybe you just don't want to hang out with me for that long. And I understand that. I know I'm a lot. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm going to move my chair. Chair's moving. That means it's business time. <gasps> Arthur? Oh, my God. I just melted. So, as always, um, this is something that one of my favorite movement teachers taught me, Bernie Clark is that I'm just gonna be offering things today. You are the captain of your ship. You are the one that dictates what you do and what you elect not to do. Check in with yourself as you go through this. This is one of the benefits of a home practice. Have that moment of inventory and introspection and hopefully we'll be able to modify. I'll offer as many modifications as I can, yeah? Cool. So I've got some props up here. I know not everybody has all these props available to them, so I try to not you know, exclude you if you don't have them, but they're really wonderful tools for making a practice more accessible um, or more challenging, depending on what you want to do. So we're going to start standing in the middle of our mat. Again, I popped that playlist. Um, we're starting from the top, Fiona Pose When Exposed. I love that song. <sighs> yeah. And I want you to feel out your space here. Think about if you're working on a mat that this is not a confinement for you. Um, this rubber mat is just an area for you to operate around and within. So look down at your feet. Check them out, look at them, and try to lift your toes up off the ground and spread them out and reattach them back down onto the mat. Yeah, almost thinking of them like your little hands if you're doing like spider grip fingers. Now let's lift up those toes again, spread them out nice and wide, fan them out, return them back to the earth. Nice. Now let's press into our big toe ball mounds and lift up our heels. Yeah, so you're standing on your little stilettos, 
and then lower your heels back down. Good, let's do that again. Go forward onto your big toe ball mounds. Lift up your heels. If you speak dance, this is called releve. And then return your heels back down. Lean your weight over onto your left foot and let's circle out our right ankle. Now, my joints are very cracky and very noisy. So <laughs> if you hear something, it's, it's just me. <laughs> Circle your ankle into the opposite direction. And let's flatten that foot back down. Good, let's do it on the other side. Leaning your weight into your right foot. Circle out the left ankle. So I did a really difficult practice. Um, I have not been the best at taking time for myself. So this week, um, I'm getting back on my routine. and I'm a little sore from the start that I did on Sunday with me and Kamar. So <laughs> let's reverse these ankle circles. Nice. And then let's bring your weight back even into both of your feet and lean side to side. And your leaning can be a little lean or it can be a really big lean, taking up a lot of space. Hmm. Maybe your shoulders kind of start to move with you. Nice. And then listen, take all your weight over into this right side. Both feet are flat. And then let the spine get heavy and kind of weave yourself down to the ground. And take it all the way back into the opposite direction, all the way back up to standing. So this is all in your low back and in your hips. Feel free to micro bend your joints to make this feel a little bit better. And you don't have to go as deep as I go. I know I have some some silly little hamstrings on me, so make it make sense for you. Let's move into the opposite direction, so counterclockwise. And as we do this, notice what your breath quality is like. Our breath and our nervous system is in a symbiotic relationship, so if you're not breathing, maybe you're in a little bit of fight or flight. So we want to try to take it into our parasympathetic nervous system, our rest and our digest. Now, once you bring yourself all the way back up to standing, roll your shoulders up into your ears and down your back. Okay, let's do that two more times. Roll it up and back. Last time, shoulders up and back. Now keep your shoulder blades glued down. We're gonna bring our shoulders into flexion. So I want you to reach your arms up and then take your shoulders into extension. Bring them back behind you. How far back can those arms go? Honor your own boundaries. Let's take it back up. Shoulder flexion, shoulder extension. Now take your left hand onto your heart and let's take full arm circles all the way around. Feel free to open up your chest as you work back. And let's reverse those circles. Take it forward in front of you. Yeah, last two. Oh. So good, last one. Right hand works towards your chest. Let's work with your left arm, big circles. Really any direction you wanna start in. It doesn't have to be perfect. And that is my biggest thing I tell myself every day as a gnarly perfectionist. <laughs> all right, let's move these arms in the opposite direction so that we got all your little creases and crevices. And then let's end with both hands onto your heart right here. (sighs) 
Take this opportunity to dedicate your practice to something, to someone, to a family member, to a community. Maybe it's to you. <sighs> One more breath in, breath out. Now let's sweep your arms up to the sky. Big breath in. And with your exhale, let's go all the way down to the ground, forward fold. Create a halfway lift in your spine, elevate, lengthen. And then fold, stake your hands to the ground. And let's bring your knees all the way down into a tabletop position. Untucking the toes or tucking the toes just depends on your own personal comfort. Reach your heart space forward, cow pose. Exhale, cat back, round and press into your spine. Keep working just like that. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, round and contract. Now you can stay with this kind of lateral trajectory, but you know me, if you want to change that trajectory and take a circle, maybe you want to take hip swivels, the pathway is up to you. Again, you're the one flying your ship. We've got about 15 more seconds here of explore time. Maybe you wanna linger in one shape for these last three seconds. And then meet me in a neutral space with a long spine. And we're going to play with our protraction and retraction of our shoulder blades. Separate your shoulder blades. This is your protract. And then retract. Glide the shoulder blades together. And let's go back and forth like this a few times. So this is really helpful for having good posture. I'm looking at you, my friends that are on the computer all day, typing or sitting. This is a wonderful corrective exercise. You can also do this in a high plank for a little more oomph to it, but I like starting on my knees so that I'm getting the basic functionality of this movement. Now let's maintain the protraction. So you're trying to separate and let's move in just the arm bones. So I've got an external spiral in my arms here. The undersides of my elbows want to go forwards and then undo that. Try to turn them more kind of towards the back corners of your mat. Spin, 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 spin. So that's all you're doing there. Playing with your external and internal rotation, but with a fixation in the right hand. Yeah. It's not the same when I don't have my hands on the ground, but you see what we're doing. <laughs> last three. Good, last two. Very good, last one. Maintain the spiral of your little underarm bones forward, and let's step back into high plank. Good, downward facing dog, lift your hips to the sky. Wow. All right, it's our first downward facing dog in this class. So please take your time in it. And by take your time, I mean, find a little bit of movement with it. Shift your hips a little side to side, pedal out your legs, give your hamstrings and calves a little bit of relief if they need it. We're here for 10 seconds and then you're back on the ground. Mm -hmm. And this is one of those awesome opportunities for again, introspection. If you're more broad-shouldered and need to widen your hands, make it happen. Maybe you're more prone to external rotation in the arms. You want to point those little fingers out. You can also step the feet out wider. Last five seconds. Good. Let's take your knees all the way back down to the ground. Now on these tuck toes, have a seat back onto your heels. Plantar fascia, bottom of your feet. They get pretty beat up, especially if you're like me and like to wear boots outside, even during the hottest times in the South. <laughs> 
I just like what I like, okay? <laughs> now I'm gonna have you reach your arms forward. Open up your hands nice and wide. Now close your four fingers and wrap your thumbs around those four fingers just like that. And then we're gonna open up and close them back in. Good, let's take a little bit of pace with that. Keep going, keep going. We're building some strong forms as we do this. Now let's do a little practice of some of that terminology we used earlier. Keep doing this, but bring your shoulders into flexion. What does that look like? Yeah, they go up. Shoulder flexion. Yes. I know it sounds a little counterintuitive, but anatomy is weird. All right. Now let's keep going and try to take the arms into shoulder extension. Just think extension, long muscle, flexion, short muscle. Good. Let's do that one more time. I know I'm on fire. I'm burning too. And take it all the way back. And bring it back forward, hands onto the ground. Woo! Let's get off your feet, tap them out. I want you to make a little bit of noise there. Eesh. And then let's stretch out the tops of your forearm. Wow, mine are looking so veiny right now. Top of your right hand comes onto the mat. And let's do the other one. So right palm goes back down. Top of your left hand comes onto the ground. Now, if you notice, I'm doing that spiraling with my left arm. I know it's far away. The camera isn't right here, so you're not seeing it. But remember, that bottom part, the inside of your elbow, that's what I'm trying to roll forwards in front of me. Okay, let's bring the left hand back onto the ground. Reach your heart space forward, breath in. And with your exhale, tuck your toes downward facing dog again. Awesome, now we're gonna do some sun A's here to get the body a little more lined up and for a little more traditional approach. Heels nice and high, bend into your knees, look to the front of your space. Take a step towards the top. You can keep your feet hip width distance or bring them together. Halfway lift, lengthen. And with your exhale, fold. Now let's rise up to standing, sweeping arms up to sky. Hands come right by side body, just like you're standing nice and tall. Now bring your hands onto your hips, thumbs are at your low back. Push your hips forward, open up your chest to the sky. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your inner thighs. Hopefully the low back isn't taking on all that weight because you're using your muscles of your core and your pelvic floor. I love when I accidentally rhyme. All right, take it all the way back forward, forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthen. Good, fold to plant. Take your hands down to the ground, step back, high plank. Shift your body weight forward, lower your knees to the ground. Try to take your chest and chin to the ground. And just allow the butt cheeks to lift towards the sky. Now roll yourself out, low cobra. Belly button comes to the ground, tops of the feet come to the ground. Lengthen out the back body. And then let's push it up and back, downward facing dog, lift your hips. Three breaths. And then we're gonna pick up the pace a little bit and add on some extra elements. Heels high. Bend your knees, look to the front. Inhale, top of your mat, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Rise up to standing, sweep your arms up. Exhale, taking your hands by side body. Again, you can support the hips as you take a back bend, or you can re-extend your arms up to the sky, getting that shoulder flexion. Inhale, lift your heart space, squeeze the core. Forward fold, take it back down to your mat. Good, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, step back. We're gonna go through chaturanga, shift forward. Again, knees can touch the ground. Bend elbows to 90 degrees. 
Low Cobra or your up dog, pressing feet into the ground, straightening through your arms. Try to retract your shoulder blades and depress the shoulder blades down your back. Downward facing dog, lift your hips. Again, take three breaths here. Full complete inhales and exhales. Good. I'm gonna talk you through this next one. On your next inhale, lift the heels. On your exhale, bend the knees and compress. Good, inhale, top of your mat, halfway lift, lengthen out your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Nice, inhale, rise all the way up to standing, sweep your arms to sky. Good, exhale, take your hands by your side body, stand tall, samastitihi. Now you can support the back or reach the arms back up. Give me a back bend. Yes. And then forward fold, take it all the way back down to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, fold to plant your hands, chaturanga or any modified variation of that. So you can do the knees, chest, chin. You can also completely not do it and just meet us back in downward facing dog. Good. Now, once you're in that downward facing dog, let's walk your hands all the way to the back of your mat. And we're gonna bring back a shape that we did a lot of during the entire month of March. So we're gonna open up your feet and externally rotate them. So my toes are pointing out and then let's bend into our knees and get into a squat. So everybody's hip mobility looks a little bit different. This is how my malasana looks. Your malasana could look like this. They're all a malasana. I can assure you that. <laughs> so don't think, oh, mine doesn't look like that, so I'm not doing it. No. <laughs> Just feel out how good that feels. Oh my God. <sighs> so let's do a couple of house cleaning notes here. I know it's our first one of the day, but notice if you're rounding your spine, try to elongate your spine as if you were up against a wall behind you. Activate your glutes as a means of allowing the knees to be in that external rotation. Hands can be at heart center, elbows can push into these inner thighs. Now we're gonna to try to ride an elevator, not an escalator. Big breath in. Exhale, push into your feet, come all the way back up. And then parallel your feet so they're facing straight forwards. Let's go into forward folds. Good, bend into your left knee. Left hand stays on the ground. Let's reach your right arm up to the sky. One of my favorite twists ever in the world. Energy lines work out through those fingertips. If you need a block under this left hand to make it accessible, make it happen. One breath in, exhale, let's switch. Right hand down, right knee bends. Left leg long, left arm up to sky. Yo, left hip, what is up? Okay, one more inhale. Good, exhale, let's take that left hand back down to the ground. Now walk your hands up onto your shin bones. And this is gonna be a little funny, but guess what, life is funny. Okay, lean forward and towards the toes. Try to lift your heels up off the ground. So this is like a beginner's to your diver's pose. If you wanna dive, then let's take those shoulders into extension. Reach them behind you. <sighs> Try to hold this shape five seconds. Yep, 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 yep. It's like you're wearing those little kitten heels. They're just an inch high. Last three, two, and one. Back down to the ground. Walk it forward into a high plank position. Take your knees down to the ground. Center your left hand. Reach your right arm up to the sky. This is a breath in. Exhale, let's thread your needle. Right arm goes underneath. Lower your shoulder and lower your ear down to the ground. Notice if the hips are bumped off to one side, try to keep them center. And then your left hand can, or your left arm, can find extension or flexion technically if we're talking about anatomy terms like I've been. It can reach towards the front of your space. And if you want a little more shoulder opener, you can half bind with this left arm. 
We were also working that over the course of this month. Belly breaths. Nice work. Let's return the left hand back in front of your face. Press yourself back into your tabletop position and then extend your right leg behind you. Good. Externally rotate the hips. So I'm just trying to open up my belly button towards you. Take your right leg out to the right hand side and flatten it all the way to the ground. Foot nice and flat, even though I know mine is off frame at the moment. Slide your body weight back and forwards to open up your right inner thigh. Good, last two. We're gonna go to fun town in one. Hips come right over your left knee. Tuck your left toe. Push yourself off to the corner of your mat into essentially a wide-legged downward facing dog. So my hips are still on the ground or my hips are up in the sky. They're pushed back. My hands are still on the earth, but I'm not leaned forward onto the weight of my hands. I'm back into my feet. Nice. Now let's push it forward, step back into downward facing dog. And then let's do that again to the other side. Lean forward a bit, step left foot out to the side, wide-legged down dog. Oh. Good, push it forward, back into downward facing dog. Walk your hips all the way to the back or your hands. Turn out the feet back down into your malasana. Yes. Now you can stay right here, feet on the ground. This was a happy place for you. Or, or you can lift up your heels and use your elbows to push them out a little bit wider. <sighs> you guys, Pai is here. She's a little peeved because I gave her a bath this morning. <laughs> she doesn't want to be on camera. She's embarrassed. <laughs> I'll drag her into view by the end of class. All right. If you're still here with your heels up and you want a little extra sauce on it, reach your arms. <sighs> Last three, last two, and one heels down. Riding the elevator, not the escalator. Push into your heels, bring yourself all the way back up and parallel your feet. Sweep the arms up to the sky. Forward fold, take it back down. Ooh, halfway lift, lengthen. Let's walk it forward, high plank position. Knees down to the ground, tabletop. So good. Left arm reaches up to the sky, twist, and let's thread it. Left arm goes underneath you, shoulder, ear comes down to the ground. Now I like to create like some space between my shoulder and my ear, okay? The place that this is getting into, we're definitely getting into your SCM. We're getting into the rhomboids a little bit, the trapezius muscle, all these things that tend to hunch up and get a little bunched up with stress. <laughs> Pi, we got to pull you into frame. You're so perfect. Just stay right there. <laughs> All right, let's pull ourselves out of this thread. Ooh. Left hand comes back onto the ground. And then we're gonna extend your left leg behind you. And we're gonna open up your hip. Good. Now take this left leg straight out to the side. Flatten the foot down. Okay. Human conveyor belt shift back and forwards. So, so, so good. And then let's meet back into a neutral position, right toe tucks, lift, pivot off to one side, wide-legged down dog. Nice, work it back forwards, downward facing dog. One time out to the right, right foot steps out. Oof. 
Good, and then take it back forwards, downward facing dog. Nice work, everyone. Let's go heels high, bend your knees, look forward. Travel to the top of your mat. You can hop, you can step, whatever you want to do. Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Good, chair position, bend your knees, arms towards upper hand corner. But let's get the shoulders out of this flexion space. And I want us to take them right at heart center. Hopefully that helps you bring a little more trust into your leggies. Now let's take your left elbow and place it either between your knees or if your body wants to do it and consents to it to the outside of the thigh. So this is your prayer twist. It's deep, it's compressive, elevates the heart rate. It's really stimulating for your digestive system. So if you haven't yet today, maybe after class. <laughs> All right, one breath in. With your exhale, let's take it to the other side. Right elbow, ooh, all the way over towards that other side or between the knees. A really excellent modification also if you've got some mass in front of your body. I learned this from my friend Erica, is placing a block on top of the thighs. Yeah, so there's ways to make some shapes work for some bodies. I know that it doesn't work for all. <sighs> One more breath in. One more breath out. Good, let's take it back towards center. Reach your arms forward one more time and then take it all the way up to standing. Hands come onto your hips again. Lean the weight into your right foot. Extend the left foot just behind you. Not all the way back, but enough so that you're able to get onto the tops of your left foot. Remember this guy we did? Yeah. We're gonna stretch out the top of your ankle. All right, so I want you to create posterior tilt. Lengthen the tailbone underneath you. If you're getting cramps in your feet, you can always come onto the big toe ball mound. Now start to lift up your hips, squeeze your butt cheeks into your palms. Last three. Good, two and one. Take yourself a little bit forwards and let's deepen that lunge. We're gonna move into a warrior one. Pivot the left heel down, reach your arms up to the sky. Again, tailbone wants to lengthen underneath, press into the outer edge of your left foot. One breath in here. Exhale, let's go into warrior two. Open up your arms and heel toe the left foot a little bit deeper. Yes. Flip your right palm to sky. Reverse warrior, get some space into your side body and can find its way all down the legs any amount. Excellent. And then let's take ourselves all the way down into a low lunge. Both hands are gonna frame the right foot, left heel pivots above the big toes. And then let's twist, right arm reaches up to sky. Nice. Now this is gonna be our origin shape for our deeper hip openers today. Lunging, lunging, lunging. Good for the hip flexors, good for the hips, nice and stabilizing. So let's test that stability really quick before we go deep. I want you to come up onto your fingertips of that left hand. Just for eight seconds, float your left fingertips off the ground. Yeah, last five, four, good morning, right butt cheek. Two <laughs> and one, bring it all back to the ground. Right foot steps back. You can take your chatta, upward facing, and back into downward facing dog. Yeah. Heels high, bend your knees, look forward, and travel to the top. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Good, chair position, bend your knees. And then again, let's bring hands to heart center. We're gonna do that prayer twist again, elbows between the knees or to the outside, but let's go over to our left-hand side on this one. Yeah, let's break the rules. Let's, let's make the people that say we have to start on the right super upset. All right, let's do it to the other side. This one makes me so sweaty. But also it's like, I think it's like 80 degrees in my house right now. Because why not? Hot yoga, 
<laughs> Pi, are you watching everyone? Good job, baby. You're the best. All right, let's take it back towards center. And then stand all the way up. Reach your arms up to sky. Yee-hee. And then take them by your side. Hands onto your hips. Right leg extends behind you. Tops of the toes if you can manage. Or big toe ball mound if you're not ready for that. Good. Stay right there. <laughs> yes. Um, Pi is judging you guys, but uh, don't let that dissuade you from doing class because you're doing it with love, aren't you? You smell so good. Oh my God. That's my baby. Okay, where were we? I think we were here, yeah? <laughs> okay, now we're gonna lift our chest, lengthen the tailbone, give yourself some space. Mm -hmm. And then bring it back forwards, bend into the left leg, big step back, we're into our warrior one. Arms are sweeping up to the sky. Outer edge of the right butt cheek gets that press, that space, that activation. Right shoulder wants to work forwards. Take a breath in. With your exhale, open up into warrior two. Yeah. Pi is acting as my eyes because I'm doing class, right? Right, Pi? <laughs> All right, so hips want to organize underneath you here. Left palm, turn to the sky, big side body space. And then let's take it all the way down to the ground, low lunge, square off of that back heel. Good, low lunge twist, left arm reaches up. Notice if you're already twisting on those toes, think about your right inner thigh going down to the ground. Now come up on your fingertips of this right hand. Let's again test that stability, lift your right arm up eight seconds. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it all back down. Your choice of exit, upward facing, and back into downward facing dog, or take a child's pose break, or a kneeling break, 10 seconds. I wish you let me blow dry you, but you're already looking dry. That's what I'm talking about, Pi. <laughs> All right, you guys, wherever you are, five more seconds. So if you're sipping water, doing the thing, we're back in downward facing dog in three, yeah, in two, so good, last one, downward facing dog. Aha, uh -huh. reset there with a breath in and a breath out. Here we go, heels high. Bend your knees, look forward, travel to the top. <sighs> Halfway lift, exhale, fold. Good, chair position, reach your arms. Let's go back to the right, left elbow, either between or to the outside of the thigh. And then let's pick up our left heel. How slow and controlled can you step this left foot back? Ooh, good. Now square your chest. Let's go into our warrior one. Back heel pivots down to the ground, reach the arms up. And we're gonna bring back humble warrior. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Hands come behind you. Ooh, open up the chest and then dive. Right shoulder works down towards the thigh. Breath in, breath out. Nice, let's bring it back up, warrior one. Into warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Nice, new shape. We're gonna go to skandasana at the back of our mat. Lengthen the right leg, turn out the left, and work yourself down. Think of this like half of a malasana, okay? My right set of toes wanna turn up to the sky. Now, I want to be mean to your butt one time because it just, it just wouldn't be a class with me if I wasn't mean to your butt at least once. 
So think about what you would have to do right here to get back into warrior two. Big breath in. Exhale, push and adjust into warrior two. Yes. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, let's take it down into your low lunge. Frame the foot. Yes. Right arm reaches up. You're in your twist. Now either stay right here because you love it or you don't love it and you're just like, don't keep me here, Long Trace. Or come with me into your horizon lunge. So if you notice, I roll to the outer edge of my left foot and reach my right arm back. If you need, right foot can go wider. You can totally relax your hip on the ground if you want. I'm not gonna fight you on it. I can't. I wanna love you about it. <sighs> last three. Good, last two. And one, let's bring it all the way up. And we go into wide-legged fold. Now for me, because I'm a little askew here, I'm gonna step my right foot forward a bit. Hands can come around your ankles. They can wrap around your toes. They can reach between. If you're like Tracy, I love it. I wanna go upside down and do some headstand work. You can absolutely do those things. Good, now let's walk our hands forward in front of us, lifting up like a halfway lift. Arms reach out to a T, and let's bring ourselves all the way up. Good, now here's what we're gonna do with our feet. Right toes are going to pivot forwards. Chest is going to try to pivot towards the front of our space. Left hand is going to go down to the ground, right hand onto hip. Now for me, I like to walk my left foot a little bit closer. This is called revolved triangle. Right arm reaches up to the sky. Left hand, I know it's like playing twister from hell right now, huh? Left hand can go to the outside of your right foot. Try to push the right hip back. Shit's brutal. Last three. You're there. Last two and one. Soften into the front leg. Square off. Plan your escape route. <sighs> Upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. You guys so good, we're just gonna do the other side, okay? Heels high, bend your knees, travel to the top. Half lift, exhale, fold. Wow, how does the time just fly? <sighs> Chair position, and get your twist. Right elbow to left thigh. <sighs> okay, right heel lifts. How slow can this right foot step back? Good. Once you've got the connection, huh, float your chest, pivot the right heel down, rise into your warrior one. Take the hands behind you, lift, lift, lift your chest. Humble warrior, left shoulder works down. <sighs> Try to swing your booty behind you as opposed to out to your left. Behind. Just think behind is behind. Now let's rise all the way up. Warrior two, open up. <sighs> These back to basics class are no joke. Left palm flips, reverse warrior, all the space. Uh-huh. And then we're gonna go to Skandasana over your right leg. <sighs> yeah. Now we're gonna hang out here for a while. You're not pushing yourself into warrior two just yet, but think about it. Think about that strong right butt cheek. <laughs> Big breath in. Good, with your exhale, push. Bring yourself back into warrior two. <laughs> nice, let's go into reverse again. And then all the way down to your low lunge. Frame up the left foot. Good, twist. Stay here, twist about it, bitch about it, or we work into that horizon. So this is a major hip opener, y'all, and it's coming back just one last time in our class, okay? It's also a lot on the right wrist, I know this, so try to grip into the index finger. 
Nice. Let's lift. Pivot yourself into your wide-legged fold. If you're like me and your hip and your feet became uneven, even them out. And explore what you would like to do. For everybody, it's a little different. Handstands, headstands, hanging out. Sometimes it feels really good to chest expand here again. Oof. Ooh, my upper lumbar cracked, yes. All right, fingertips to the ground, elongate the spine like a half lift. Open up the arms, bring yourself up. We're gonna go into that revolve triangle next, okay? It's like the big daddy pose of today. So my left toes are pointing forward, my chest works forward. Right hand works down, left hand onto hip. If you need it, widen out the stance with your right foot. Left arm reaches up if you need. Right hand can go to the outside of the left foot. That's really tough for the balance, okay? I wanna make sure I'm not like smothering my mic and talking to you from my neck. Oh God. <sighs> All right, let's take it back. Bend into the left leg, step right foot back. Your preferred escape method, upward facing dog. And with your exhale, downward facing dog. You guys, so good. Lift your heels high, bend your knees deep, look forward. Step or take a little hop, you're in your molasses. <sighs> and we're listening to deaf tones, so it's okay. It's all gonna be okay. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Take a breath in. And with your exhale, forward fold. Parallel the feet, step your left foot behind you, low lunge. Good. Our last low lunge twist. Option here to take the arm to the outside. If you were binding and wanted to play more binds, you can create that. Sweet. If you're bound, let's release. And we're gonna move into that twisting exalted situation. That's not what it's called. That's just me ambling through my brain to remember what the fuck this is called. I call it horizon lunge. I don't know. I doubt there was like that like upper caste of Indian men in the caves calling it this because this yoga was not invented until far, far later. <laughs> All right. Now here's what we're going to do. Give yourself a little lift. Pull this bottom leg in and have a seat on your butt. Yes. Right foot squeezes in a little bit tighter. Think sit bones on the ground. Left elbow hooks to the outside of the right thigh. Give yourself a twist. Nice. Now let's counter that twist. Take both hands over to your left, round the spine. And then bring yourself a little more elevated. I'm like up onto my hands here. Flex your feet, push, twist, left leg lift, standing split. Just for a moment. You can balance. For three, for two. And one, bring it back down. <laughs> oh, halfway lift. Let's just go into our lunge other side. Right foot steps back. <laughs> and left arm up to the sky. Now, if you did it on the other side, right arm goes to the outside of the leg. 
If you did it on the other side, binds. This is very advanced. This is not basics. This is not beginner, but this is just my offering, yeah? <sighs> Big breaths, y'all. Let those twists get assisted by your breath. Let's release, right hand back to the inside of the foot, work into that horizon space. Now I really flap my jaws on the other side here, so sorry, we gotta take a few seconds. And then elevate a bit, pull this right knee in, and have a seat. Try to get that left butt cheek down too. Pull this left heel in a little bit closer, yeah. Right elbow hooks to the outside of this left leg. Left hand here is behind your sacrum for this twist. <sighs> Try to take your shoulders out of your ears. One more breath in. Nice, exhale, unwind and take it into your counter over to the other side. Long, round, lazy spine. We're getting right into this low back. This is your QL quadratus lumborum. Angry side, low back. So Miss Shayla, be sweet. Be sweet on you, my love. Now let's lengthen out. Both hands are towards the earth. I know this is crazy town. Flex your feet, lift and pivot, standing split. Yeah. Now in that standing split, you can hold, get a little balance going. <laughs> My balance, no bueno on the left. All right, let's take it all the way back down. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Halfway lift, fold to plant, step back into high plank. Good, listen, lower your knees to the ground. Now swing both of your feet off to the left, just enough that the amount that your hip rotation allows, but then extend your left leg behind you. Good. Now we're just going to lower down into our half pigeon with all my sound effects. <laughs> Left leg extends behind you. You can take this little elevation. You can work forwards already. And if this is just a no-go for your hips or your knees, then I'll offer up deer. So you've got two legs bent and you can work down to the ground from there. It's an awesome variation and I actually prefer it most days. Because <laughs> the longer I practice, the nicer I want to be to myself. Oof. All right, folks. <sighs> Sleep your pigeons. We've got five breaths here. All right, let's walk you up. And I want you to explore what would feel really good for your body after this. For some people, they just wanna come straight back into tabletop and wiggle it out. For others, you may want to go into three-legged dog. We never even touched one of these today. So you can open, play, flip, push. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. I 
And once you feel like you've decompressed, let's do the other side. So we started from tabletop. Let's swing our feet off to the right. And then your right leg is going to extend behind you. Ah, now if you noticed, I slid back into place as opposed to forcing my left leg forward. Sometimes I very like softly creep my left foot forward, but I want to be really gentle with my knees, especially because my knees are not the greatest. And you have these really, really fine tissues, um, especially in the hip, your labrum, that can get ripped and torn if you don't care for them properly. So as we're doing a physical asana practice, we want to really move mindfully here. Again, if you did that deer variation, that's here for you. If you want to sleep it, take it down and be with yourself in your hips. We'll bring it out after about five breaths. All right, you guys, let's bring ourselves out of here. So whatever you did on the other side. Oof. And then let's bring ourselves all the way down. Oh, swing your legs out in front of you and crisscross them. Take your left hand onto your heart. Right arm reaches up and back, just like we were doing in the beginning. And back forwards. And then replace the left hand with your right. Do the same thing. Left arm up, up and back. And forwards. And then let both of your hands rest on your heart space. And remind yourself of your why at the very beginning of this class this dedication of your practice for yourself, your friends, your family, your community, because everything originates from here. <sighs> Let's take your legs long in front of you. Let's roll you all the way down onto your back. Ah. <sighs> And find your final shape here. We're on to our last song. <sighs> Open up your mouth wide like you're yawning. And then let it close, but taking your tongue away from the roof of your mouth.
Now, friends, take a bigger breath here. A reminder that every single day that we are breathing is a reason to celebrate and is a gift. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for trusting me with your body. Thank you for carving out this time for yourself. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hmm. Thank you all so much. <sighs> yeah, you're so welcome, Ashley. You're welcome, Steph. Thanks, Jess. And I love that question, Holly. Tracy, I have a half malasana question. I have hyperflexibility. My extended leg, hip, goes all the way flat to the ground. My booty sits down. Still over supporting foot. Doesn't feel like a stretch. Yeah. For me, doesn't feel like a stretch either, unless I'm sore. So the main thing for you as a person with hypermobility will be activating and getting really long through your spine and being active. And even if that means you don't feel a stretch, it's still fine because you're just allowing and, and requesting those surrounding muscle structures to support you. Yeah. So that's a great thing about a yoga asana practice is not all these shapes are meant to be stretches and not all of them are meant to be strengthening. Yeah. Yeah, because you're still receiving a benefit. You're still training the body when you're within a shape. Yeah. You're so welcome, Holly. Yeah, I do have some methods if you're seeking stretching, but those are more like, <laughs> I mean, that's more of like over splits, you know? Yes, Ms. Shayla, you're so welcome, my love. Yeah, so Holly, for you, uh, we're busting out the tools. If you've got blocks and things like this, uh, yeah, so it's essentially like an oversplit. Because, uh, yeah, me too long. I'm starting to feel it a little bit more now, but yeah, but I'm with you, sis. These hips be wild. <laughs> yeah, stack some blocks, like tear it up. <laughs> You're welcome, Shayla. Ah, yeah. I'm so glad you all got to witness Pi and her in her moist glory. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're such a trooper. <laughs> yeah, and all that just depends on your goals, Holly. It all depends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because my goal this month is to get into those really big openers. So that this Ramastrasana, Compass, um, Yogi Dandasana, um, all those ones that are just, they're like the boogeyman of the hip openers. So you'll probably have fun this month. <laughs> yeah, and always feel free in this chat to ask questions. I can try to answer them to the best of my ability.
Um, also, quick announcement, I might take next Monday off. Um, Cause the day before is my birthday. Oh, my birthday's, okay, my birthday's on Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, so, and I'm also getting some like formal things done with my move like DMV and all that stuff and I'm doing it like in the morning. I don't know how long it's gonna take. So probably next Monday we'll have off um, and I'll probably move the schedule around and maybe do like a weekend class. Um, but this Friday we are doing our trip hop slow flow. So that'll be really fun. and would love to have you come to that. It'll be five o'clock Pacific standard, eight o'clock Eastern time. Sorry for my European loves. I know that's really, really late or early in the morning for you. But as always, it will be recorded. And this Wednesday, um, I'll be releasing a requested class. So if you're a member of my Patreon, um, I, I love to hear requests. I got a request for a desk flow, like a quickie desk flow, um, a sound bath. Um, and I'm going to keep working on the inversions for beginners. So methods of getting that. Yay. All right, everyone, I'm going to feed myself. I suggest you do the same. Care for yourself, love yourself, drink some water. And I look forward to seeing you next time. I'll keep you updated on the schedule. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks for coming to the stream. Mm. Thanks, Arthur. Hmm. Feeling that. Thank you, Ashley. All right, loves. I'll see you next time. I love you all.